Hello everyone! The fourth Earth guitar just came in with UPS again. So let's now unbox the Eart GW1. So came again in this triangle uh, packaging and with UPS again. Push-in tram arm again. Interesting stuff here. Okay. So I ordered it in black. Oh, beautiful fretboard. This is a beautiful fretboard. Very polished. The GW2 um, had a beautiful fretboard, and the GW1. Two, it seems, yes. Great looking fretboard. And yeah, that's the all black GW1. We had this styrofoam here to protect uh, the switch. It really seems to be a one piece body. Um, I have to say on the earth guitar side, it's not really clear how the back side will look if you order the black one. I thought maybe it would be natural, natural ash. I hoped so, to be honest, would have looked cool, black top, natural back. But no, the black is all black and the other colors, blue and purple and so on, um, got a um, natural ash back. Okay, I got all the time the question, what is the difference between the GW1 and the GW2 I already reviewed. And the main difference is the GW1 got a tram unit and, and, and an ash body, while the GW2 got a hardtail bridge and a paduk body. That's the main difference. But um, I cannot talk much about this tram unit. This is my first time I see it myself. We got a push-in tram arm here. Maybe hard to see, black on black here. As far as I know, you can adjust it to be a hardtail or tram. So here are some screws. I will take my time with this uh, tram unit and I will talk about it in the full review. Um, also the difference is um, the GW1 got ceramic uh, magnets in the pickups or let's say different pickups and the GW2 got only five pickups. So maybe the GW2 is more traditional sounding, medium output and this is hotter, more, I don't know, lead lead style guitar stuff, I don't know. Um, but okay, right out of the box, the setup was a little bit high. Um, I had a big neck bow in here. I adjusted it in front of the camera, but I had no microphone uh, plugged in. Um, just with a little whatever you got lying around. With this guitar, we got this little tool here to adjust the wheel here and I gave it like a quarter turn and now it seems fine but yeah um so far it seems like a great fret job again i talked about the fret ends and the frets yesterday already on the cp1 but i think you cannot talk enough on these guitars about it um, because this is really the highest level of fret leveling, fret dressing, fret ends. No factory guitar had uh, this level of polishing and, and leveling like these e eared guitars. Because we got a tram here, um, the ball ends here are locked in place. This is similar to a Floyd Rose nut, right? And we got a bow nut again over a zero fret, um, already like on the GW2. The fretboard, can you see this? Highly polished, great looking rosewood. The GW2 also had a great looking rosewood fretboard. And yeah, the GW1 is no exception here. Maple Paduk neck 
and it seems like the same shape than the GW2. So I will stop here for now or otherwise no one will watch the review, but we will go in the review in more detail. We will look into the electronic cavity and of course I will talk about the tram unit and maybe, I don't know, maybe in a minute the pickups won't work, I don't know. Um, I can tell you right now. I just received it myself 10 minutes ago. Um, yeah, but I'm broke right now. I will have to sell guitars. So please check out my reverb shop. This is my fourth eared guitar I bought this month. And yeah, I need some money. So if you like something here, please tell me. Uh, maybe the Brent Heinz. Oh no, 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 not the Brent Heinz. I'm not sure but I will have to sell something on my reverb shop. So please check that out. Also join my Facebook group, the Eared Support Group. The topic is Eared and we support each other. I will post there all the updates on these guitars and if you got questions, you can ask me there. You can ask me, of course, here in the comments. Please let me know what you think. And I got a lot of comments here about this area that I will smash my guitars there and I can tell you it never happened so far. I'm very careful and maybe it's an optical illusion here. There is more room than it looks like, okay? The wall ends here and my guitars are here. Um, but I got a lot of comments about this. <laughs> so okay, we will have a quick look now at some sounds uh, and that's it for now. <laughs> 